Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video update for you on the Rome trip. And uh, having just come back from London and uh, visiting Hong Kong and traveling around the world, I, I can't begin to tell you how excited I am to take the band to Rome. Um, we're gonna have an amazing time, just an incredible trip. There's nothing quite like international travel, going overseas, the long plane rides and all that come with it. And um, so I'm just getting really, really excited about this. And I imagine at this point you may be getting a little bit nervous or a little bit uh, you know, in the middle of winter blues, thinking about you know raising more money as a college student and all that. I, I want to go back to our first meeting. I want to go back to when Bob Bone was here. I want uh, to kind of remind you that uh, what was said all, all the way back then at the beginning. If you want to go to Rome, this university wants you to go to Rome. The, and this is not like your high school band and uh, so I know that there have been a, there's a payment schedule that's kind of come along and the payment schedule is simply this so you don't have to try to come up with $2,100 at the end of this whole thing so I don't come to you in October and you've signed up for the trip and then at the end we're asking you for all the rest of what's due uh, it's just a way for you to help manage yourself and your finances and get as close as possible. We try to meet those things, but understand that things come up. So um, that's what the payment schedule is for. You, you try to meet that, but it's just simply to help you with your personal finances as you work towards this trip. We're going to do a major, major fundraising blitz pretty much from here out until the trip. And I wanted to detail that for you uh, through this video. We're going to do restaurant nights here in town where we're gonna solicit, say, Chipotle, or Olive Garden, or Aurelio's, or all the other Italian <laughs> restaurants that are in town, and ask them to donate um, a portion of their sales for the night uh, based on the attendance that's brought by promotion of the marching band and our trip to Rome. So we're gonna do one of those once a month. That flyer will go out on Slack. I ask that you put it on all of your social medias. You help push that and uh, try to get your friends at school to attend and uh, that all that money will split evenly across the trip. We are also going to do three fundraisers. I've gotten a bunch of ideas from you on Slack. They're all great. Uh, we're gonna pick three of those. The first one is gonna launch the first week of March so that you can take it home over spring break and sell it to your folks back home and all the people that you know. Uh, delivery for that will be at the end of the school year. Then we will do another one over the course of the summer, probably be something that can be online, something you can work on, so we'll run that. And then we'll do another one right in the beginning of fall, the band camp, we'll get it launched, we'll get it done by the end of September, delivery, so all that money can be in your account by the time everything's due October 31st. In addition to those things, we're looking at other possible fundraisers such as um, put the band on a scale and see, guess the entire weight of the entire band and uh, some kind of thing like that. Um, we still have our partnership with Sodexo and there are some events that are coming up. There's one on March 5th and there'll be a sign-up sheet going up on Slack very soon. So 20 people can work that event and it's a four-hour event and all that money will go towards your trip. We have our March 2nd WGI regional that's coming up. All of that information can, um, when you sign up for that, any profit that we make in that event will be split evenly amongst the workers towards the Rome trip. In addition to the fundraising blitz that we're going to do, uh, the administration has been having meetings with our Dean of the School of Music and uh, again it's been decided that they're going to come alongside of the trip and so the, 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 the amount is still being decided but roughly about what I said at the beginning when it's a $3,200 trip which includes your round trip airfare and six nights at a four-star hotel and two meals a day for sure, plus vouchers for other meals, among other things. It's really a once in a lifetime trip. We took the band from, with this same group of people that are sponsor, that are pr providing this event, we took that band, Youth Music of the World provided the event for London. And we took the band there four years ago. And it was absolutely a once in a lifetime trip. The culture, the experience, all of that was absolutely amazing. And one thing I really want to mention, and I've mentioned it before, and I'm, I'm sure you can't believe me, but at all of that, miracles happen. And if you want to go to Rome, I can take a band of 100, I can take a band of 75. We, get, we have 125 on the roster. We've already got more than that signed up to go. So if you're dropping out and, and God's leading you to do that, that's understood. But if you truly want to go to Rome, it's been a bucket list item. It's been something you've always wanted. Last time we went to London, anybody 
that raised anything, that committed to go to the trip that wanted to go, went to London. And I'm telling you, this university wants you to go to Rome. So my worst fear is you drop out of the trip when you could have gone. And the people that just stayed the course and prayed about it and didn't get cold feet. And I know you're trying to be responsible. I know you're trying to be amazing. I totally get that. But this is a weird situation. I'm just telling you. And it's not going to fall through. And so I'm going to have some uh, some commentary and some comments from uh, from members in London that got the same thing. And all they simply had to do was write a letter of thanks. And that gift was there. And they were able to go. So if you want to go to Rome, I really encourage you to not uh, back out of the trip. Unless there's a conflict that's come up or you've really felt God leading you in a different direction. I totally get that. And that's fine. I'm not trying to keep you on because we need that many people. That's not it. We have no freshmen signed up for this trip yet. And last time, 80% of the freshmen went. And our freshman classes are normally 60 to 70 people. So we're going to have plenty of people who will go to Rome. Half the faculty wants to go to Rome with us. It's pretty awesome. All right. The last thing is your online trip accounts are almost live. Mrs. Utter's got them worked out. So they're going to be on pretty soon. And Abby has drafted a letter for all of us to use when it comes to uh, soliciting from our church or from our family or from our friends. And that letter will be made available to you as soon as it is printed and signed, um, taken care of uh, and signed off on rather, not signed, but signed off on by the administration. So all that should be done before spring break so you can hit the payment hard. So look for announcements on Slack. They're all coming uh, and they'll be kind of fast and furious on the Rome channel. Um, and I'm gonna put this video actually uh, on, on both channels, the whole Marching Man channel and the, uh, the Rome channel, so that uh, those that are thinking about Rome or kind of gave up on it or didn't remember um, that that's the case, it's really, it's really what's going to happen. And I don't want you sitting on, it happened last time. There were people that wanted to go to London, it was the only thing they ever wanted in their life, and then their friends went and they didn't. And all they had to do was want to go and do everything they could. So send the letters. Make your $200 deposit, do the work for the band, be part of our family, and we're going to have a great time overseas. I just can't wait. In fact, I get to go this summer, and I'm going to take uh, my wife with me, and we're going to go and experience what we're going to do without the band so that I have a kind of a test run. So I'll be sure to share pictures on the Rome channel and uh, post things on social media, on the Marching, and, um, on the Marching Man social media pages, and, uh, and keep you guys all informed about all that. So... All that said, if you have not secured your spot for the Rome trip and you really want to go, the way to do this is to gather up your $200 and by, every, by any means necessary to secure your spot on the roster on the trip. And then send the letters, participate in the food nights, do the fundraisers, show up for the March 2nd Regional, help out on the 5th if you can, and sell the candy and the flowers and the popcorn and all that. And we're gonna get everybody really close to their entire trip. And whatever is not there in the end, a gift is gonna come through. Thanks for checking this video update out. And uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're learning this semester. I hope uh, you know the winter blues are kind of going away. Spring is on the way, warm air is coming, and uh, it's gonna be band season before you know it. So. Uh, if you're around Larson, please stop by, Larson 015, love to see you. Uh, don't get to have daily contact with you, and I miss a lot of you, so I hope you're doing well, and uh, we'll catch up to you next time.